Hey guys, it's Carly here for Ellen Hudson, and today let's talk about two tools that are going to make your card making even easier and more fun, a scoring board and a bone folder. Now a scoring board is basically a plastic platform that has measurements and grooves. You place your paper on top of the platform and use a bone folder to score. Scoring creates a line in the paper that guides the fold, which reduces cracking of your cardstock or any sloppy on and even folds and gives you a more polished appearance. Now typically scoring boards come with a plastic bone folder, but from experience I can absolutely tell you it's totally worth upgrading to the Teflon bone folder. The Teflon is non-stick, so you can use it with adhesives, with inks, with paints, anything. And probably the best feature is when you use it to burnish your cardstock, it's not going to leave that shine. So let's see it in action. I've got a piece of cardstock cut to four and a quarter by 11 because I typically like to have my cards have the fold on top. I'm going to place it on my scoring board and score at five and a half to create that A2 card. Now I'm holding my cardstock in place as I use my bone folder and I'm pulling towards myself because I find that's the easiest way to keep my cardstock from shifting. I generally go over it twice and sometimes I even turn the cardstock over and score again from the other side if it's a really thick piece. And it's hard to see on camera here, but now I've got this perfectly scored line to guide my fold. Now I can fold my card in half and then I can go over that fold with my bone folder again with the other side and burnish that so it's nice and crisp and stays folded beautifully and makes this great A2 top folding card. Now another great thing to do with your scoring board is to use it to create some patterns. So you can use scored lines to make dimensional patterns for your cards which are really beautiful and fun. I've got this piece of cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And my, my score pal that I'm using actually has the measurement marked that has two and the eighth, which is the middle, marked with a little dot. So I'm going to start scoring there and then score out by eighth of an inch on each side. And I've got this great group of scored lines, which just gives my card a little bit of extra um, something, a little bit of detail. <laughs> now you can do lots of other more intricate and detailed designs with scored lines. So the sky's really the limit. I also love using my scoring board to create boxes and bags and other fun things. So I hope this was a helpful tip for you. You can find more information on the Ellen Hudson blog. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.